In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very attractive handrail for a lot less than you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. Each one of these sections costs about $25. Let me show you what you get at Lowe's or Home Depot. This cheap plastic handrail, 70 bucks. Here's a smaller plastic one for 50 bucks. This one looks a little nicer, wood and metal, 70 bucks. Here's a pretty decent one for 35 bucks, but it does look kind of chintzy. You could build all the structure yourself and for 97 cents get this, but it adds up too. And these spindles at two bucks a piece, it really starts to add up and they look kind of thin and chintzy. So if you're looking for handrails in the handrail section, you're gonna pay an arm and a leg. So where do you find a really good handrail at a really good price? They do sell it in the store, but you're gonna take a long walk from this section. Also, don't go to the lumber section. That stuff's an arm and a leg too. You're gonna have to walk outside. Hidden with the garden material are the landscaping timbers. Five bucks a stick, you won't find that anywhere in the lumber section. So instead of buying one of these chintzy systems, you can build something that you could kick. These are solid. They're easy to build and very low cost. Let me show you the basics of how to build these. To speed things up, make these little jigs. That way they're all even. And to put it all together, you can use this timber lag bolt. They have a 5 16 hex head on them, so they're really easy to install. Here's a brand you could get at Lowe's or Home Depot, and they only need to be 6 inches. It comes with this attachment for your drill. Using a setup like this is literally 10 times easier and faster. Using a high impact socket works extremely well. And this $40 impact wrench from Harbor Freight is incredible. It doesn't work that well for auto mechanics, but it's great for building construction. Way better than a drill. So I add one of these timber lag bolts to every post. One is all you need, and they're very strong. They take the weather really well. They don't rust. These have been in for about three years. I use decking screws to attach them at the post. At the bottom, I put a small two x four to raise it up the proper distance. I make sure none of the gaps exceed three and a half inches for code. The landscaping timbers are only eight feet, so I had to splice this for this 10 foot section. So I made the splice pretty long for structure. Unless you're really looking at it, you don't see it. Then I notched the end so it's really secure against the post. Most sections are not 10 foot long. Eight foot is more than enough. So next time you're looking at handrails and you don't like what you see, this might be a solution for something you like and it's cheaper. So if you want a better piece of wood than you can get in the lumber section, walk out to the garden section. Well, I hope you have found this video useful or at least entertaining. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.